girls. I am Anne Marie and tonight I'm going to show you how to do a glitter look that's really neutral. Get ready. So this is going to be a neutral glitter look that can be used on anybody and I'm going to use a couple colors. The ones I've pulled out to play with are um, Cupcake because this makes a good base for my skin but also Stay Golden does too and if you have um, a darker complexion talk to your artist. She can help you find a really good base for your eyeshadow. This is um, Stardust. This one is Sa Glass Slipper. <laughs> this one is Shenandoah and Unicorn. And so Cupcake is a matte. And then these two are Shimmers. And this one too. And this is a glitter and a shimmer. So that's what you're going to need. You will also want to um, maybe invest in some glitter glue. This is Hard Rock Glitter Glue. Um, you can, I got this at Walmart. You can look for anything that's an eyeshadow primer, but specific, a glitter glue will hold on to those really glittery eyeshadows and prevent a lot of fallout. So that's really helpful, but it's not necessary. You can use your stay spray too if you want. And I have a bunch of eyeshadow um, brushes. I have the shadow brush by Saint, and I have the smudge brush by Saint, double-ended, and I have the multitasker brush by Saint. And this one is what I'm gonna use to apply the glitter. So if you've got that, you're gonna, if you have it, you wanna use it. And I've got a couple other um, brushes I'm gonna use too. So let's go. My eye makeup off. And if you're doing a dramatic eye look, you might want to do your eye look first before your foundation. That way, if you do have any fallout, you're going to be able to dust it off really easily and it won't be stuck in your foundation. That's a really good tip if you're doing a glitter look so you're not totally sparkly all over <laughs> your face. You can put the glitter glue on just like that with your finger, um, kind of let it dry a little bit. Let me dive into my foundation colors to, this is what I would normally have done, do a little color correcting with my foundation colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Especially the inner eye, whatever kind of like inner eye you have um, first, like whatever um, inner eye correction, um, you have kind of like just get your lids corrected okay it doesn't have to be like beautiful or perfect or it's just gonna serve as your base um, I will start with the smudge brush and the cupcake and get that all over the lid now I do have liner on from today that's not necessarily like required um, I am kind of curious to see how it looks under the glitter so I'm kind of exploring that with you guys tonight. So did the base with cupcake. Um, then what I'm gonna do actually is, um, I think I'm gonna take a little of the stardust with the smudge brush and put in my outer shadow. I like to take that line a little further out than the corner of my eye and stay in this angle if I can because it helps make the eyes look a little bigger and I have small eyes and I have hooded eyes so I love to do that I need them to be as big as possible <laughs> and I'm gonna do this on this other side too kind of just patting this color on And smudging it with the smudge brush. <laughs> I also kind of like to look down when I'm doing this. There we go. My eyes and everyone's eyes are a little uneven so if you find that you thought you put it on equally on one eye and the other 
it's totally normal because I actually I know myself I have a little more real estate up on this brow bone than I do up here so I have to take the shadow a little higher on this side okay next I'm gonna take a little smudge brush and do this do a little smudging on the lower lid here Now, if you don't have your liner on, you can you could probably go ahead and do it, or use a dark color shadow as your liner here. I'm thinking about this a little more. I probably put the glitter glue on a little too early, but it's going to serve as a solid primer. I get weepy eyes, like. They get um, oily, so I think that that glitter glue is gonna be actually fab as a base, but I am gonna need to put a little bit more on. Okay, so what I did there was make sure I got it on my brow bone. I do have hooded eyes, so I'm gonna want the glitter to be up there a little bit too, otherwise it's not gonna be able to be seen when my eyes are open. So I was just making sure to pat that all over the lid. Now, get your multitasker brush with a flat paddle end, any brush like that will do, and get your setting spray and spray your brush, okay? So, it's gonna be wet, okay? Then, what I'm going to do is pick up glass slipper and it's loaded. I'm gonna pat that on my lid. I can feel that it's damp. <laughs> I need to clean that brush off or grab another one that is similar to that. So <clears throat> by spraying your brush with the setting spray, it helps pick up and load up a shimmer um, or glitter. So it's really helpful, especially if you can find a base that is the same color as the glitter that you're gonna use. So. Um, my brush is still wet, and I'm going to go to the Shenandoah um, and really pick that up. And then tap it over. Okay. How fun is that? So. So fun. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is use a small brush and go into the white color. This one's called Unicorn, and I'm going to add that to the inner eye and pull it over to the silver. Okay, so fun. So fun. Same on the other side. Hold it a little more. Under, under the inner lash line. Lightly go into that unicorn color and add a light bit of it under each eyebrow, the arch of each eyebrow. Okay. And then I'm gonna kind of go back on this edge and just make sure there's no harsh lines. So the glitter's there, but I just kind of wanna go over and make sure that that's all blending. That's pretty much it for the shadow, but what I'm gonna do is go in to all around it and clean it up a little bit. So I will go into my lighter highlight, my brightener, and apply a little bit in an upward motion up here, and that will help keep the, um, the eyeshadow lifted on the edge from like the corner of my eye up to my eyebrow. And I'm gonna have to go into the color and um, apply my foundation, well actually dust away, <laughs> dust away any of the fallout, and then go into your highlight brightener color and then soften up and brighten up your under eye if you're like me and have the rest of your makeup on. 
If not, you can just start your basic 3D application. Just be careful when you get up close to your, your shadow. You, and if you do like to do eyeliner up under here or up under your waterline, you could go ahead and do that now. If you had fake lashes, you could go ahead and get the glue ready and do your application of those now. <clears throat> what I'd like to do after my eyeshadow is all done is go in to fill in my brows. The my brows always need to be darkened up after that because the eyeshadow tends to like make them dusty again, um, especially when using light colors up under the arch. So I do like to get them darkened up and then you could even add a brow wax if that's part of your routine. That is really pretty. It makes them like really fluffy. Um, I unfortunately just don't have a lot of hair I don't really do that. Um, but I do like to fill in in here. There's really not much hair. And always the tails. And I'll make the tail a little longer on that side. And I like to go out like that. Yep. Fun! I thought the cheetah shirt was distracting with this awesome eye look. <laughs> So I took it off. But a couple other little little touches when you've got a glam look like this is always shine on the illuminator. It is just the best and will complement that glitter look so nicely. Go down the bridge of your nose and then a little on your cupid's bow and accentuate that. It's really, really pretty. Yay! I might toss on a little royal lip gloss lip and cheek and I'm good to go I really wish I had put on fake lashes for you guys but overall it doesn't have to be really hard glitter glue might be your best friend and I hope that you play with it I can't wait to see what you try thanks for watching